right, we're back here with another update on this pond. Um, we're having some issues right now, so there's a lot of algae and it's real cloudy and stuff, it's real murky. Uh, we just got a bunch of rain for the first time in like, I don't know what, a week or two. It's been pretty dry here. So we actually haven't been able to feed worms to the uh, bluegill. Even though we have a worm farm, we've been like building up that worm farm forage, which I'll actually do a video if you guys wanna see. Um, leave it down in the comment below if you wanna see a whole build on that and how to do that, because we actually have to do some work on that. But um, yeah, so the fish haven't had worms. They've only been eating pellets recently, so these guys should be pretty hungry. So we're gonna feed these guys real quick. Then I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna do to the pond because we have some updates and some things we need to do to this pond to maintain it. And we're gonna show you guys how to do it as well. All right, so we got some fat worms. Also, I've also got these worms out of the ground. If you guys wanna see a video also on how, to, how we get our worms from the ground, um, let me know and I'll also make a video on that. Um, we've been trying to get worms from the ground without going to the store and paying them because they're like, I don't know, probably like 10 bucks at this point, the way this world's going. But anyways, worms here. If you guys want to learn how to get free worms, let me know and we'll get you some free worms. But anyways, we're going to feed these guys up. I already see Big Bertha. She's up here. She's ready to eat. Let's see what she got today for us. Yep. Told you they're hungry. They haven't had worms in a while. So this is like, this is like having an ice cream sundae to them. murky in here so I don't know where they're coming from. Anybody want a free worm? No free worm? Let's see. I can't even see them. They might not be able to see us. That's how murky it is in here. I see shadows. That's bad. Hopefully we ain't got nothing here with teeth. Dude, he's sitting, she's sitting right there. Oh, got snagged. Damn. Right. Oh, there we go. So unfortunately, it's a little cloudy and it's kind of hard to see. I can barely see what these guys are doing. So, I guess I'm just going to feed these guys real quick and then I'm going to let you guys know what else is going on up in here. And um, I'll let you know what we're going to be doing here and uh, how to do it as well, how to apply it if you're having this issue in your pond as well. All right, so there's a few things that. Obviously, I said the, the cloudiness in the pond, if you're dealing with the cloudiness in your pond as well, um, there's a few things you can do. We're trying out. Um, we're trying different things right now. We think we may have solved an issue. Obviously, it doesn't look like that right now, but I think we cracked the code, so we're going to show you guys this, and then we'll also show updates along the way. But the first thing we did, and we've done this last year when we had an issue with algae, and it actually helped, is uh, the beneficial bacteria. This is made by Aquascape. If you guys want to look at that, the Aquascape right here. So pretty much what this does is you put it in water, um, and you mix it around kind of like the vegetable green stuff like that i would highly don't recommend drinking it it probably doesn't taste too well but uh, what it does is it maintains a balance in your pond and it's good for the ecosystem i mean as you can see it right here it literally says that right on the dial so we've been using this for about a year now and it definitely works um, we definitely see a lot of um significant gains when it ha when this stuff does happen but it doesn't fully clear your pond up so what we did some research We've been looking around and we're like, because we don't have UV lights in there because we want it more of a natural pond, right? So we want that natural pond feeling. We want it to have a natural ecosystem there. We didn't really want to force nothing, right? We got the bait fish in there trying to build the forage up. We got the bluegills in there trying to get them to reproduce. I don't know what's going on there. We're probably just going to up the forage in there and put some more bluegill in there and see if we can get one to spawn. But the number one thing that we found that we think is going to be most beneficial for us is um dyeing the pond blue so i'm going to show you guys right now what that looks like so this is natural blue pond dye all right the reason why you use this is because it helps take the uv lighting out of the pond which helps the algae grow so it's not gonna it's not bad for the pond it's not harmful for the fish um you put a certain amount in um to your pond i think we're gonna start out with here with two ounces we're gonna start off with two ounces on here so we're gonna see what that happens. So obviously it's gonna turn the pond blue. Obviously it's gonna give a little color to the pond. It's gonna look a little aesthetically pleasing, but you know, we want our pond to be able to see the fish. We want people to come over when we're having parties or whatever, be able to see the fish, be able to feed the fish. And this time of the year with the heat kicking up, the bacteria, the, the algae and stuff like that's gonna grow, which is good. And it's not gonna kill all the algae. We're just gonna have a lot of algae in there. It's just, we're gonna have the pond be able to be a little bit more clear. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And we're gonna apply this, show you guys how to do that. And then we also have to go get more minnows for the pond because we're going to put four more dozen in there and that should be good enough to build up that forge for these guys to reproduce a lot so we got a lot to show you guys so stay tuned and um we're gonna get to it all right so we got one ounce right here two ounces right there we're gonna start off with one ounce and pour it in here because it's actually a really thick concentration um it's pretty thick so we're just gonna see what happens first it's our first time with this so 
be careful not to get this on you guys because it's, it's as you guys can see it's very opaque and it's gonna stain you it's as you can see the concentration on that's like almost like chrome so we're gonna put this in the pond and hopefully it does something good for us just dump it in there oh as you can see it just looks like ink in there oh shit this is actually slippery should i go another ounce in there mm -mm. no all right well while we're letting that sink up we're gonna go to the bait shop we're gonna go pick up some minnows and then we're going to see what this is going on. We're just going to turn the um, waterfall back on and then hopefully that pushes it around and we might come back and this whole thing might be blue. So I'll see you guys when we get back. So we got back to the pond. As you guys can see, it is blue. This is now the Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. I think we got a finally good name for the pond. Uh, blue Lagoon it is. We got some more minnows right here. So we're going to put these in the pond. Crew's going to help me put them in the pond, right bud? They're going to help me? Oh, you don't jump in? Come here. No. You're gonna be a freaking smurf, dude. You're gonna be a smurf. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Take a go fish. Come here. Here. Take it up. Look. Oh. Now you don't like that? Is that weird? We gotta put them in. Oh, shut it. Shut it so the fishies don't get out. Well, we gotta put them in there, dude. Come on. Oh, we got all the freaking characters out today. There we go. Turn his bubbler off. It's cold, it's cold water here. To fish? Yeah. No, whoa, whoa, easy there, Psycho. Easy there. Easy there, crazy. Fish slap. Fish slap. Look, girl, look. Look. Look, look. Into the pond. Into the pond. Throw it in. Oh, there you go. Almost. What are you doing? Come on. Yo, yo, yo. Go oh, crazy. What are you doing? What's wrong with this boy? Okay. We can't kill them, man. They're food. Uh, uh oh, you done with them? No more? There's still a bunch in there, dude. Yo! Psycho? What are you doing, crazy man? In the pond. Not fish out of water. Duff? Here. Man, psycho. All right, so we got all the fish in the pond. Obviously, it's very dark blue, but that's going to help bring that algae down a little bit. So that's what we really want right now. It's going to wash itself out, and it's going to wind up being more clear. We got to do one treatment. What are you doing over there? We got to do one treatment a month. Um, I think we're going to go a little bit less than a half. Uh, we're probably going to go half an ounce next time just because... Uh, Obviously, as you can see, it's very tinted, but we actually need to take care of this pond, so that's probably a good treatment for the first time, but next time around, we're probably going to do more of a half an ounce. Um, that'll probably be better. But if you guys have any questions, like I said, we're on a journey as well doing this pond thing, but hopefully this was useful for you guys and everything. But we're going to do an update in a couple of days, so this video is not over. Also, i got to go catch some bluegill for this, so stay tuned. This video is not over, and um, yeah, so we'll see you in a couple of days. All right, guys, it's been about four days. Yeah, four days now, and um, we're gonna go take a look update at the pond. So before I show you guys this, like, we put way too much dye in. Um, we fucked up. We messed up big time. Um, and that's okay. Um, that was the first time doing it. I'm not very good at math sometimes. Like, the quick math stuff really messes me up, so. The, the pond is blue. It's, it looks like a Smurf took a shit in it, actually. Um, maybe some, like, explosive diarrhea type stuff. But um, it's starting to clear up now, so obviously you guys have seen it before, it's blue, it was blue, but you'll be able to start seeing a little bit more of the pond, so I'm going to show you guys right now what's going on. So as you guys can see, the pond is um, starting to clear up, you can kind of see right in there, start seeing that first layer, that step again, um, but it, it's very blue, the waterfall's blue, everything's blue, um, it, like I said, it looks like a smurf took a big old dump in here, um, but you know, it's clearing up. They say within about a month that this 
pond will be a lot less blue. Um, next time when we do this, we're actually only gonna use like a little medicine dropper and we're gonna drop like two drops in there and see what that does. Like I said, we're just using the blue to keep the UVs out of there so the algae doesn't like sprout out like crazy and take over the whole pond where you can't see anything in there. In a bigger pond, yes, that'd be awesome, but in a backyard pond like this, we want to be able to see what's going on in there and see the fish. Even though we have cover for them, there's plenty of cover in this pond. Um, we want to make sure that we can see in there. And right now, as you can see, we're working on getting that thing cleared out. So right now what I got to do, we want to put a few more bluegill in here. Um, so I'm probably going to go catch like four more bluegill. So it makes it, I think there's six in there now. So we put four in there, that's ten. Quick math, yeah, ten. So yeah, we're going to go do that. So we're going to go down to the lake, catch a few bluegill and some bread. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna put them in here, and then we're gonna have it out. We're gonna have at it. So I'll see you guys down the lake. Alright. Well, we gotta do some things. We gotta go catch these fish. Gotta fill up this bucket with some water. Hopefully we can get some. Should still be out here. It's all over the place. It shouldn't be too hard to get. We'll find out in a minute. Bluegill should be everywhere. So last batch of bluegill we're gonna get. It was exciting news. Oh man, it smells like bass out here. I love that smell. All right, I'm gonna fill up the bucket real quick. Oh yeah, there's bluegill everywhere. It'll be all right. Can't speak it enough. This bubbler in there. This thing buzzing. Oh yeah. We're in works. We're in the works. Hit the blue girl hitting still. see many actually this is not a good sign I found the gills come on there it is there's one there's one we got one right here we we'll making up in here so oh man hey I told you guys, the bread trick works every time. No, I'm not eating these weirdos. Let's get another one. Another one. Oh, they done swim away. There's a whole colony of them out there. I just can't get this light ass line. Not that far enough, hold on. There it is. You know you want it. Come get it. Yep, there's another one. Oh, oh, this one fighting. This is a feisty, feisty one. So, there's another one. About the same size. This one got some fight in it. I like it. So, there's another one. That's two down, two more to go. Ooh, what's got an eye? These are some nice, healthy fish, too. So, should do well. Usually they're all schooled up. Just gotta look at the scavengers. There it is. 
There it is. There she is. Oh. All right, we got another one. That's three down. So we need one more. One more volunteer. You guys can see. Got him. Relax. This thing's like in like shock. Well, I mean, I probably would be too if I just got hooked in the mouth, but. It's a feisty one. I like it. Got him. Number four. Number four. They're all about the same size. See them. This one's a little bit smaller, I think, but got some fight in her. And can't really judge that nowadays, you know. I really, um, you know, you know what they say. I don't think I need to explain myself. But yeah, number four. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna take these guys home. And we are gonna go put these guys in the pond. Well, hold on, let me shut this filter off real quick. Shut the pump off. That should quiet things down a little bit. So we're back at the Blue Lagoon over here. And we gotta transport these fish into this pond all right now last time i did this it took me a hot second because these these guys got fins on them and shit you guys know the deal and we got some feisty ones i'm gonna pour some water out so it's easier for me to get them all right all right relax They actually all are about the same size, which is crazy. All right, chill. All right. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Yeah. All right, chill, Sandy. Yo, Rick, relax. We definitely got the feisty ones out of the group. Yep. Yo. Oh, Yo. mother. Y'all hear this? Now we're gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm trying to transport y'all. Sit still for a second. All right, number one right here. Oh, there he goes. All right, hey. Caught on that one right there. He's gone, gone in the blue lagoon. She goes. Yep. All right, fish out of water. Okay. All right. Any day now. Hey, this is how we're gonna do it. Why can't we just be friends? Right there. Get a cool release on her. Or not. They probably are like, what the hell is this blue lagoon thing? Promise y'all, it'll, be, it'll get better. And this is the last one right here. Maybe, if he makes it. Right. Hey, relax, ow. And we got this one right here. Oh, well, there she is. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the fish in the ponds. Here are the fish that we caught today, the four. And we now have a total of 10, 10 bluegill in the pond, or 10, yeah. I think we had 10 in there now. So we had six before, we got four, that's 10. Six and four is 10, yeah. So we got 10. Uh, we plan on putting a bass in here once we built that forge. Once we can see what's going on in this pond, obviously you can't see anything right now. It's, it's 
you guys can see it's it's blue as it comes um, I mean you can see a little bit right there but it's really blue so I'm gonna put a bass in here like a small bass and then we're gonna put a uh, probably a crappie in here maybe another catfish but that's enough for the stocking today um, this is actually gonna end this video right here because I got a lot of stuff I got to do and uh yeah so if you guys liked what you guys saw if you guys want to see another pond maintenance video because I'm going to give you guys an update in about another week on this pond, what it looks like. But right now, this is what it looks like. Hopefully, in another week, it'll be a lot more clear. And then, so on and so forth, and we get this pond under control. But if you guys like what we've seen, give us a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down what you want to see us do to this pond, put in this pond. Um, all, I'm all down for it. So, I'm headed now. I'll see you guys next video. See you all later.